Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. So as I am laying here and eating my Trader Joe's peanuts, one of the things I was thinking about, because I'm here listening to William Donahue, who talks about cosmic law and social law, and he talks about the pineal gland and kundalini. And I just came across his videos here recently, and there's so many people in the comments um, on William Donahue's page who's saying, like, dang, you know, it's so funny how we just came across this page all of a sudden. Some of his videos are from, like, 11 years old. And one of the things that got me to thinking was this. Out of all the years that I have been to church right different churches and you know Maj jig and you know only went to the Maj jig i think like twice but you know the churches i have been to different churches and it's so funny that none of the churches have ever said to go within even for that matter, I don't even think I remember hearing when I did go to the masjid. You know, it was it was a long time ago. But I never even remember them even saying to go within. And the answers that you are seeking are always within. It has always been pretty much to look outside yourself for the answers. You know... To wait for something to come save you. You know, just pretty much you just giving up all your power. And what that got me to thinking is, if you give up all your power, right? Having an ability to meditate and receive the answers and everything that you are seeking. If you give up all your power, then that means that you become powerless, right? And now you have to seek someone outside you to try to save you. Whether it's the pastor, even, you know, us being baptized. I, I never was baptized. But, you know, even in that sense, right? Like washing away all your sins. And, you know, me listening to William Donahue and then checking in with myself, it only makes sense that, Everything in a in a Bible that you know we have been taken so literally um for so many years, and there's people that still take it literally. Um they are just stories, allegories, okay? They they stories, you know, um is is not real. And you have to really start tapping in. And getting to know exactly who you are. And I have said this time and time again. If you don't know how to master yourself, then someone else will come along and master you. If you don't know who you are, then someone will always constantly remind you of who you are. And they will constantly tell you who you are. I think the best thing that you can ever do is to get to know thyself. That way, you're not falling for the okie doke.